All right, this video is for Jim Bogenreif and Yorba Linda, landscape lighting demonstration night, explanation of design. There is a white wall here along the perimeter of the first floor in the backyard that goes along this area, continues on behind the pool waterfall area, past beyond the barbecue grill over to the steps and all the way down to the other end. It's gonna have lights spaced like approximately like this, lighting up the wall in a in artistic architectural way. There are three trees over here, and because of the wall on the back side, we only need one light on the front to get good coverage. In this particular area, there is a lot of stone, fake stone, holding up this fountain. And we are going to do things, or we have proposed things here, design methods that nobody else is going to attempt. Um, I like doing stuff that uh, is going to be able to win a national award. And this particular area, if you do everything I want to do here, will definitely be nominated. You've got fake stone here, and I can put lights in these little crevices, tiny little lights the size of a quarter to light up some of these areas. They're not shown right now. Right now, just the big lights are shown. There are steps. Anywhere where, anywhere where there is a step, we're going to make sure that is properly lit so you can see where you're going at night. Anywhere where there's stone walls like that, little face, fake stone wall, we're going to put a light on it like this area over here. You've got dirt in some areas, which is easy. So somebody else who's uh, quoting you lighting is probably going to suggest this area because it's easy. But over here, you have stone on top of stone. And so that's more difficult to do. We do that every day. And all this stone will be able to be lit. No matter if it's got dirt in the area or stone, we'll be able to light it artistically. Over here, there's dirt. So this area will probably have light with our design or somebody else's. But up there, there's little crevices, little valleys, multiple levels. We can put light, tiny little lights in some of these locations, specialty lights that come out at a very unique angle and trajectory that will be able to light some of these areas in a way that other people either don't know how to or won't take the time to do that because uh, it takes a lot of time hiding the wire we'll be able to get some of these effects. We'll have probably three times the number of lights that you're looking at here um, because of all the little tiny nooks and crannies and crevices. Okay, this step right here is going to have light. That step is currently shown of what that might look like. This area, the brick columns will have light like this. It uh, They always look great when they have lights coming from the bottom. And then this uh, barbecue grill top could have amber pointing down. That's the most popular color. You could do white also if you'd like. This short wall will have lights coming down, the little brick wall, and the white wall could have lights going up. Um, the purple trees will have one, uh, two lights each, one on the front and one on the back for when they grow. They're little baby trees right now. The steps are going to have lights so you can see where you're going. And the brick columns of the wood shop will have lights as well as that brick back there. And that design repeats itself along this area. There's a lot more to the design as you go up to the hilltop and the water slide and all those different areas up there. And uh, we don't have that set up for the demonstration, but we'll be able to show you that during the daytime walk.